How do you potty train your children? And this is a good question because I still take advice. So my daughter is almost four now and we went through a rough potty training situation. So when she was about 18 months, she was doing things like being really interested in the potty, wanting to sit on a play potty. So we took that as a sign that she was ready for potty training. She was also going in like hiding behind the couch if she wanted to go to the bathroom in her diaper. And we knew that that was a sign that a kid could be ready. So our doctor warned us she's probably probably not ready yet. Most of them aren't ready in 18 months, but I was like, okay, we'll try it anyway. So pretty quickly on, she was doing okay. She was going kind of like sitting on the little play potty with her diaper off and she was okay with it. But oh, I went to the other room one time while my husband was helping her on the potty. And next thing I know, he had shoved her on the actual toilet. And I was like, oh, Austin, that's like the number one rule. You're not supposed to do that. And unfortunately, I think it did freak her out a little bit. So it set her back in the potty training by quite a bit. Or who knows, maybe the doctor was right and she wasn't ready in the first place. So she was very interested in this after about taking her diaper off to go potty, but she was not interested at all in going in the actual potty. So what this turned into is me being 36 weeks pregnant with my son Dallas and my daughter being almost two years old and randomly taking off all of her clothes, unbeknownst to me, and pooping in the floor all the time, all over the house. And because I'm visually impaired, I would not notice this until I stepped in poop or until she answered the front door from a family member. And they said, did you know your daughter's completely naked? And I said, no, I did not. I wonder how long she's been like that. <laughs> so I would constantly find puddles of pee and pounds of poop all over my apartment. And it was horrible. It was horrible because it wasn't just on the laminate that she would do it. She would also pee and poop on the carpet it was so gross. So what that led to a lot of the time is me not knowing if I had actually cleaned up all of the poop. So I would get on FaceTime with my mother or my sister-in-law or my sister, and I would hold the iPhone out while I was on my hands and knees holding a thing of Clorox wipes, trying to wipe the floor. Oh, at 36 weeks pregnant. And I remember my mom all the time. She'd be like, Chelsea, hold the camera steady. I can't see if you got all the poop. And I'm like, I'm not a human tripod. I don't know what to tell you. I just want to cry. This is so horrible. Emmy, why will you please stop pooping on the floor? And that was for about like a four month period. It was absolutely horrible. But we tried again when she was about two and a half. We put a pin in it after my son was born. We're like, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not interested at all. This is not happening. But when she was about two and a half and my son was about six months old, we tried again and she did much better. What we did is my mother had bought her a package of princess panties and she was so excited about them. She asked if she could wear them. And I said, if you want to wear these princess panties, you got to give me that diaper. So she did. And we got rid of all the diapers and she put on the princess panties in her long legging pants. And if she started to have an accident, she was verbal enough at that point that she would tell me, she would say, uh oh, or I had an accident. And I would quickly take her and put her on the potty to finish up the rest of her peeing. Now, granted, most of the first week, all the pee went on her clothes, all the pee went on the floor. But you know what? That was okay because she was starting to understand that the pee went in the potty and she was starting to want to make it to the potty because whenever she did sit on the potty for me, I would give her an M&M or let her watch some Cocoa Melon or some, some kind of prize. She really, really worked hard for Ready Whip and Sprinkles. Those were her favorite things. So I just set timers and we'd go potty every 15 minutes and sit on the potty and she'd get a prize. And eventually that was the way she became potty trained. She started to be able to hold it longer and... Many, 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 many accidents later, I have a pretty much potty trained daughter. <laughs> we still have accidents now and again, which I think is just normal for a three-year-old, but that is a system we use that worked the best with my visual impairment. I know a lot of people will use the fully naked system and they will just watch for when their kid starts to go potty and, and take them or um, just whisk them on the potty like that. That's just not something that worked for me because I just couldn't really tell when she was about to go pee. So whenever I realized she was peeing, she'd already peed quite a lot, quite a lot of pee. That was so, I really needed her to be clothed and I really needed her to be verbal with me. And that was kind of the difference between me and other sighted moms. So I just now know that potty training is not something I can do in 18 months without the house being an absolute disaster. Potty training is more something I can do when they're two and a half. And you know what? That's still in the normal healthy zone, so I'm totally fine with it.